happy thanksgiving guys so yes i am having thanksgiving dinner at my house today and it is such a beautiful day out here oh my god i thought something ran out of there y'all okay so right now we are in the backyard guys it is pretty much hey don't do that it's a mess back here from the season changes you guys know how that goes so let me hey guys so i've been in the spirit and mood to to listen to christmas music but who wouldn't be Just kids do anything like this. Boy, I'm gonna go get a pair of shoes to go outside and help clean up the backyard. And of course, he have on two different. Okay, guys, but like I said, I've just been in the vibe, in the mood to listen to Christmas music on this Thanksgiving day and just period, even before Thanksgiving, <laughs> like in the car and stuff. Like instead of me listening to all the R&B and rap and stuff. Okay, so, and whatever. I just been in a real, real big vibe of listening to Christmas music, y'all. I'm so in the spirit. I know a lot of people always say around Christmas time or holiday season or whatever, they just do not be in the spirit. But guys, I am in the spirit. I can finally say it after so long. Like, I don't think I've been in Christmas spirit, like actually in the spirit, like and not just celebrating it, but like in the spirit. I'm gonna say since I was about 13, 14, y'all, like it's been that long. And it's so sad. Like every time the holidays or whatever come around, like I just don't be feeling motivated to celebrate the holidays but ever since i had kids when i was starting at 21 i had my first son i just been so into like the holidays and just all the festivities i'm all about the holidays y'all i'm gonna show y'all my thanksgiving setup because most people might say this is just being extra people just you know cook their food and lay their food around in the kitchen and stuff which don't get me wrong my food is is my food is in the kitchen but i just could not help myself y'all like i have so many picnic tables and long tables and um event tables and chairs and stuff like that so i'm like let me go ahead and set my my kitchen up like because i just be in the mood and in the spirit and why not so i'm at walmart last my last minute child 30 to 45 minutes before they close and I'm running around. I'm getting all type of stuff, y'all. I'm grabbing tablecloths, napkins and stuff to set my table and my area and stuff up. I'm running around getting the kids, looking for them Christmas pajamas and little outfits and I'm looking for pots and pans. I'm just looking for all type of stuff, y'all. And literally, I got everything I needed kind of because after all of that y'all let me tell y'all walmart got the nerve to have a dixie plate 14.99 like what and it was only like i'm gonna say 20 to 25 plates and i'm like oh my god i'm not about to pay 20 to 25 dollars i mean not 20 to 25 my bad 14.99 for no 20 to 25 plates like come on now like where is the Black Friday deals at? Like, I did not really see anything but the TV. Because I kid you not, everybody that was in a store other than me had a TV or had any, it was any type of size TV. Like, somebody had a, a yellow, I mean, no one yellow box. It was an orange box. Somebody had an orange box TV. Like, and those TVs, them is really good for kids. Like, I don't care. I recommend anybody to get those TVs for the kids because 
they have everything on them TVs. Like, you don't have to download nothing. You don't have to go searching for anything. Like, it's very easy to use. And then a remote accessible. All that stuff, like, very, very, very good for kids. So, I do recommend Roku TVs for kids. But other than that, yes, y'all. Like, I don't know. And then, since all of these... Or I ain't even gonna say all of these. These police is up here because of the mass shootings and Greg like no. They probably got these police up here for Black Friday. But I'm like, it can't be because Okay guys, I'm back. So like I said, Walmart trip was pretty cool last night. Um it was packed, but everything was moving pretty fast or whatever. The lines it was okay. We wasn't in line in long. We went to self-check out. We got what we got and we got out of there. But I'm waiting for everybody to show up. I'm done cooking. I started cooking last night, child. Last night I started cooking at 11 o'clock, maybe 11.30. And I got done around five this morning. But really, I really got done earlier. I, Cause I still need to fry my fish. Let me make sure I got my oil. Y'all yeah, burnt my oil last night, which was devastating. The most craziest thing. I was so mad, y'all, because I'm so hyped about this fish. Like I'm hyped about my tilapia fish, y'all. I fried some good tilapia fish. I had it all coated up and cornstarch and cornmeal. Oh, and right now it's in the refrigerator, so it's just waiting to be fried. But nonetheless, I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, so... I'm pretty much going to give you guys a honest review on this hair. Like I said, I did a video on this hair. Um, in my last video, I did a um, I did a install tutorial on this wig that I got from Alta. Um, Alta with the O, not all to like the makeup store with the you no because people was getting a little confused about that but no okay so with this wig you guys this wig is a blended wig which means it's pretty much synthetic because you can only use little cement on heat on this wig that's one two as far as how this wig is holding up y'all i put a few tricks on this wig so please go watch the video like don't just get this wig and feel like okay everything is going to you know just look like how this looks because i had to do um uh, a few little things in order to get this wig to look how it looks now but for the more the wig is wonderful i love the wig i love the color i love how the curls hold up um, I love that one. I put a little cheap oil on this wig or some Tresemme hairspray to hold the wig in a certain style or in a certain place or whatever. The wig does not get knotty. It doesn't get matty. It doesn't get like, you know how those really cheap synthetic wigs get. It don't get like that at all. So that's the good thing about this wig, y'all. When y'all get this wig, just do the wig how y'all want to do it. Like I said, the wig came bone straight. So I didn't even think the wig was going to hold any curls at all. But when I actually did the curls, like I said, on 375, the curls came out wonderful. And as you can see, I haven't curled this hair since yesterday. Yesterday morning, I curled this hair and... The curls are still here. Like, I could put a fresh little curl on them or whatever if I wanted to because, you know, like, it's a new day or whatever. But the curl's still holding up cool. Like, it's no issue. I can still walk out and it's, you know, style still look cute on me or whatever. And it don't look all 
raggedy-ish. But furthermore, I absolutely love the wig. I love the color. And if you guys love it too, go get it, please. It's it's a really good investment, especially during this time. Um, it's really affordable. It was only $49, $50 with tax. If you get it shipped to you, it's probably going to be... You're probably not going to spend over $60. So, but nonetheless, that is my review on this wig. Like I said, I take this wig off every single day, every single night. Honestly, I cannot sleep with a wig on. I'm sorry. It's just too much for me. Now, this wig... I do not have any glue hole in this wig down, you all. This is just Trust the May hairspray. And I taz it down. You know, I spray it, taz it down, blow dry it a little bit, you know, so it don't move. And then on top of that, you know, the edges can lay right with it and all. And I just put it on and go because I cannot sleep in no wig. Like, <laughs> I am just sorry, not no more. Like when I was younger, and I'm saying like 20, 21, 22, them ages, I just really didn't care about sleeping in no wig. But as of right now, like I cannot do it. I get irritated, hot, you know, like I can't do it. So with that being said, yes, just Keep that in mind and stay tuned, guys, because I'm really, really, really excited. And yes, please continue to watch my videos all the way through, guys, and leave in the comments on stuff that you would like to see from me. Like, I want that so bad, y'all. And ask me some questions so I can do Q&As and, you know, just get on out here. I'm ready to start putting out more videos for you guys. I just want to know what type of content you guys like to see from me. I know I got a variety of content right now on my channel, which is just, you know, me, my kids, my family, like all of this hair videos or just ranting and talking or what have you, whatever, guys. Just let me know what you might like. Or even if you like the date night video and stuff that I put out, Tell me, you guys, what would you like to see from me? Because I am so excited to present to you all what y'all would want to see from me. Because everybody got their own little character. And everybody like when people do stuff, certain things more than others, you know. So, just keep that in the comments and let me know. And I do be reading y'all comments and stuff, too. Like, I be really excited with the good people. All the negative people, y'all can leave that negativity somewhere else or go take that somebody else's channel because I don't do that on my channel. You know, we all about positivity over here and growing and, you know, loving and being at peace and all of that stuff. So we don't want nothing negative over here. Like, even if y'all do get um, little recommendations on how certain things should be or how certain people should operate doing certain things, keep that to yourself because... Furthermore, we, we see it, but we really don't care. So at the end of the day, just leave that stuff alone. We're not going to respond to anything negative. And anything negative that I do see under my comments or just on my platform, period, I will remove. Okay, back to what I was saying. Yes, I will remove y'all permanently and y'all be secretively watching from somebody else's channel. Messing with me. But furthermore, yes, guys, stay tuned. I have more to bring, more to offer, and more to come. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.